Okay, everybody, I'm going to show you this GeoGebra app. Open it up. Once I'm inside, I'm going to uh, look in the lower right-hand corner. See where it says Input Bar? If I touch right there, it pops up these little tools that include like squared and to power of, you know, the little carrot. Uh, and I'm going to uh, type in a simple function. You need to tell it. Function, F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N. And then you need to put a bracket. Not a parenthesis, but a bracket. And then let's say I wanted to do um, uh, x squared. I'll just type in x. There's a little squared button right there. Okay. If I had wanted to say x cubed, I'd say x caret 3 for x cubed. Anyway, I'm going to end the bracket. If I just do that and I hit return, it is going to graph nothing. Why? Because it needs to know what domain I want to graph this on. So I'm going to go back and put comma, and then let's say I wanted to graph the x squared function from negative 2, from negative 2, comma, so that's two commas now, uh, let's say to 3. Then I put it in the bracket, and now I've got my function, comma, the left side of the interval that it is going to be graphed on, the domain, comma, the right side. And I'm just saying I want x squared to be graphed between negative 2 and positive 3. And now I hit return, and now it graphs it, but only the part that I wanted. Now let's say that I realized, ah, oh, I, I screwed up. I, I should have made that also move to the right one. Well, then I have to double tap on the little equation on the right-hand side. See where it says f of x equals x squared? Double tap right there, and then I can go back in here, and I can adjust my function. So I guess I'm going to need parentheses. If I'm going to move, let's say, right 3, uh, then I need to move over here and go minus 3, and then end the parentheses. And now I have my x squared being moved to the right 3. I'm still graphing it uh, on that same domain, which would mean that, well, let's see what it looks like. I only have this part of my graph, the part between negative 2 and 3. But the parabola has been shifted over, so I'm only seeing that little window between negative 2 and 3. All right, so if you don't like it, there's one little problem is we don't have any way to delete that equation. So I can double tap on it to change the equation, but you can't delete it. If you don't like it, you got to change it to a different equation. So let's say I wanted to uh, make it a square root function. One thing I'd want to warn you about on the square root function, just in case you didn't know this, that means to the power of, like this little caret here, 0.5. So if I put it to the power of 0.5, that means to the one-half power. That means the square root function. Okay. In case you didn't know, to the power of one-half, means square root. Okay, so I hit enter, and now it's not graphing anything. Why? Because that particular domain doesn't let me see uh, anything for that graph. So I'm going to change my domain a little bit too. Let's say I go from uh, negative 5 to, let's say, 10. And I graph it again, and oh, there it is. Okay, I was in an area of the graph that was undefined, and so it wouldn't graph anything. So you'll have to play around with your domains to make sure that you uh, get it all right. Okay, so there's my square root function, again, done with a power of 1 half. Now let's say I wanted to make a new function. Well, I just touch the input bar again. And when I'm in here, uh, any if function, you'd start with the word function and then have a bracket around and stuff. If you want a full circle, a full circle you'd do differently. Uh, if I want a full circle, I've got to use the standard form of the circle, which is x squared, and let's say plus, there's my plus sign there. Oh, I could have used the one on the input bar. That would have been smarter. x squared plus uh y squared, so let's, let's go with y, and then squared, and then I say equals, and then this next thing is the radius squared. So let's say I want a radius of, uh, let's say, um, 6. So then I should say 36. 
right here. All right, now when I hit return, got my circle with a radius of six. All right. That's the basic kind of functions that you're going to want to use. Again, to change one, you double tap on it. And remember, we can't delete functions, so try to be careful about putting them in, uh, you know, so that you don't have functions in there that you want to get rid of. We decided if we were going to just completely get rid of a function, if you try to just back out and delete everything and hit return, it doesn't let you. So you need to type something in. Uh, so if we just put in a 1 and hit return, uh, that graphs up in the upper left there, which is kind of annoying. But then if you touch the blue dot next to it, it removes it from the graph. So that's the best we can do is if you've got one that you, an equation you want to get rid of, just make it equal a 1 and then touch the blue dot and the blue dot kind of makes the graph appear or not appear based on whether it's clicked or not. So again, if I wanted to get rid of my one function that I have graphed here, I touch the blue dot next to it, it becomes a white dot, and then nothing's graphed. Okay. There's your little tutorial. Have a great day.